We've got a brand new brushless bandsaw in the shop. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tour Reviews. This is the Milwaukee 2529, and it's the M12 Fuel Compact Bandsaw. Now, this is a brand new saw, but it's kind of an upgrade from an older compact bandsaw. We get more capacity and we get more power with the brushless motor. Now let's dig into the details. Let's take a closer look at each of the features. We'll use it, then we'll come back and talk about pricing, warranty, and what we thought of it. I'm really excited about this tool because it's an upgrade or an update or an update and an upgrade from a tool that gets used all the time in the shop, and that is the M12 bandsaw, now the M12 fuel bandsaw. So this is the kit, so we get a charger. Sorry, I probably should have unpacked this. There's the saw, battery, and looks like we get a blade in there as well. Cardboard bottom, we can throw that away. All right, so we get the blade, the saw, the battery, and the charger. And it looks like right away we get more capacity in the jaws here. Obviously, uh, with the fuel system, M12 fuel, that tells us we get a brushless motor, which obviously it says fuel brushless right there, but anytime it says M12 fuel or M18 fuel, you're getting a brushless motor. So glad to see that as well. The old one, it did not have a brushless motor. We'll bring that out here in one moment. Still a very handy tool, nice and compact and small, but a larger capacity in both width and depth here. So let's get this blade on and check it out. So here's our blade release, not really a blade release other than it basically moves the wheel inside there. We'll see that in a second. Uh, something else I really like about Milwaukee is what it comes with is this little door here. So you open both of these and then this opens up and now we can get to the blade. So we get our blade cover that's integrated into the tool on a hinge this swings out of the way, uh, but it's not some additional plastic cover that you have to pop on or anything. It's, it's integrated onto the tool. We also get a cleaning brush right here that keeps this wheel clean as particulate kind of builds up in there because that will happen. Uh, right here on, on the drive, it says 30 and 9 16. So that's just kind of additional info for you to know what size blade you should be running. So here's our directional arrow as well. So we know the wheel goes this way. We wanna make sure our teeth are pointed the right way. And then we'll go ahead. And by the way, you see me wearing some cut resistant gloves because these blades will eat you up a little bit if you don't watch out. And you wanna make sure you get these seated. Oh, by the way, before I get started here, this is where on that blade release right here. So you see, you'll see this wheel move right here. So that's what that's doing. That's gonna lock it into place and tighten it up, open it up, and that gives us some play here. So I like to just kind of flatten it out and oval it out and put it in the, the rollers or the bearings first. Like I said, if you're not wearing some decent gloves, they, it will like to jump out and get you. So now that we've got that there, I will flip this lever and you'll see that wheel go up and push it all the way in the lock location. And now we can swing this closed and lock both of those. Now let me show you again right here. So here's our lever, here's our locking lever. That's opened all the way, that's closed all the way. And then by the way, I like to run it just a time or two. You get a battery in there. So I like to run it. Just kind of bump it, make sure it's riding on the rollers correctly. And then we're good to go. We also see an LED right there. So we're gonna be able to shine a little bit of light on our work as we're working in that gap there. Now this 30 and 9 16 inch blade that comes with it, I believe it's a 12 slash 14 TPI. So it's a variable uh, tooth blade, uh, 12 and 14 teeth per inch. I was about to say threads per inch, not threads per inch. Uh, but anyway, 1214 TPI and it is 30 and 9 16 One blade comes with it. You can also buy, I think you can buy three packs from Milwaukee as well. Get a fuel gauge right here for the battery. Obviously your M12 batteries don't come with a fuel gauge, but like on all M12 tools, 
pull the trigger and you're going to see the status of the battery charge right there. Let's get a weight on this. And we'll weigh it with the 4 amp hour battery that comes with it. So it's zeroed out. 7 pounds 1 and a half ounces. I think they claim it's a 6 pound tool without the battery. Probably sounds about right. 6 pounds 3 ounces without the battery. So yeah, right at 7 pounds. So still a very handy and light tool to handle, especially when you're cutting metal. By the way, model number on this is the 2529-20 if you get the bare tool or dash 21. I think there's even a dash 22 if you want two batteries. But this comes with the 4 amp hour battery and the charger and the saw and the blade. And I believe it's the 21 or the 2529-21. We'll have a link in the description to this saw in probably a couple of different ways. By the way, we got the heavy thunderstorm going on, so you may hear a little background noise. Sorry if that's uh, affecting it, but we'll try to tune that out or try to, uh, to edit that out in editing. Now, here's our old M12 saw. So very close in size. Looks like this is a couple of inches longer, but that's something I'm willing to sacrifice. The handle, everything looks still about the same. In fact, the motor's a little shorter. You see the brush motor still stuck up quite a bit up here. Uh, but it is a little bit of a longer saw by a couple of inches, but still the, the amount of capacity difference that I'm getting there, this is two and a half. That looks to be maybe one and a half. We'll measure that up right now. So it looks like one and three quarter inches right there. And then on this one, you're looking at a full two and a half, if not just a little bit more than two and a half inches and a lot more depth. So let's cut some stuff and see what we think. I did want to run these side by side. We get a variable trigger on the new uh, fuel. Variable trigger on the old one as well. Seems a little bit slower on the old one. Let's use it. Now electricians love to use these for cutting conduit. So I've got some three quarter inch conduit here. We'll make a couple of cuts. I know it's not gonna be any hassle uh, for the M12. Now one thing I do notice different on the new fuel is that I have to push the lock button. It's a spring loaded lock. Push it over every time I pull the trigger. Unlike the old M12 where you could just slide it over and it would lock. So each time I pull the trigger, I've got to push the trigger lock. So just a little pressure to get started and then it just eats its way through very quickly. And if you rotate it a little bit when you go through the other side of the conduit, it always cuts through better, no vibration. So yeah, conduit, no issue for this whatsoever. Something else common is all thread. Some three quarter inch all thread here. Obviously not an issue there. It's definitely not capacity wise and performance wise, horsepower wise, no problem at all. Here's some aluminum tubing that we work with uh, when running airlines and uh, different things like that. And this is not so much of can it do it, just how clean of a cut can we make? And that's really dependent upon the blade, but just wanted to show it. Yeah, that's nice. Cutting through that very quick. Now here's something we use all the time in the shop doing small fabrication stuff. One by one tubing or one inch square tubing. Just a very handy tube that's you know pretty light. Uh, 
it's easy to get to uh, we buy tons of it and uh, you just have it around a lot so just a very common size of tubing that we use around the shop to make jigs and different sorts of things so make a couple of cuts here And you may say, well, Tim, why wouldn't you use a chop saw or something like that? And we do a lot of times. But if we're just making quick cuts and, and building something, especially if it's temporary, I'm going to grab the lightest thing. And rather than throwing sparks everywhere with a cutoff wheel, I'm going to grab the bandsaw because it's going to cut through very quickly, as you can see. Now, something else that I couldn't do with the old one, and I'll show you here. So let's say I needed to make a 45. And you say, well, why would you make a 45 with a bandsaw? Well, with a hand bandsaw anyway. Well, I do it all the time because you can weld up gaps, bottom line. So this one here, so our old M12 bandsaw will not make the 45 because of the capacity issue. You just don't have enough capacity to make that turn. With the new one, Got my 45 marked right there. And yes, it's not exactly straight because I'm having to stand back from the camera, but it makes the cut. So we've got the capacity to make a 45 degree cut in that one inch tubing. And then finally something that gets cut from time to time and that's axle rod. So this is a keyed, keyed way axle. I think that's probably one inch. It looks to be one inch. Yeah, that's one inch axle. Uh, so a little bit harder steel, should be able to cut through it, no problem. Okay, so one inch axle. Not an issue. To be honest, we weren't surprised whatsoever because the new one is a brushless motor. It's supposed to be better. And anything better than the old one was gonna be awesome because it's just a handy saw. Talking about the old one, the brushed motor, uh, the smaller cut capacity, just a very handy saw. Anything bigger, we grabbed our bigger bandsaw. Well, now we get more power in this handy and compact tool. It grew by about you know inch and a half or two inches, but it really doesn't suffer from being a little bit longer because we get all of it in capacity. So now we can actually cut one by one tubing as well as even at a 45. So that's kind of a big deal around the shop. I know that may seem small, Cutting your typical conduit, things like that, easy to do. And by the way, if you are cutting a lot of conduit, you can get the conduit reamer that actually goes right here on one of the wheels and you can actually ream the conduit as you cut it. That's a very handy thing to have. Now, pricing on this normally is $328 for the kit, but right now it's on sale for $269 and it gets you the four amp hour battery, the charger, and the $25.29 tool as well. Check it out for yourselves. We think it's an awesome tool, very handy to have around the shop. I'm telling you, whether you're cutting conduit, whether you're cutting you know, angle iron, or whether you're cutting uh, all thread, anything small like that, great tool to have. Check it out for yourself. Again, it's the Milwaukee 2529 M12 Fuel Compact Bandsaw. Keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and now even TikTok. 
Also, would you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already? And by all means, if you hated our video, then give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.